What's up, David? What's up, Cody? How you doing? Dude, another day in paradise, right? We got Big 12 brackets now. Yeah. Um, what's the uh, what's the mindset of the team? Or what are you what are you kind of feeling um, from these guys heading into this weekend? Right, this is a crucially important weekend, but there's an element of this that you guys probably need to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is exciting times. Um, Big 12 week. I feel like energy's good. Everyone's been looking pretty good, pretty healthy, and I, I, it's just really exciting to see see uh, how we're gonna do this weekend. You know, obviously the goal is to win as a team, and so I'm just stressing to the guys just to go out there. Uh, have fun, but try to score points and, and keep trying to advance every round. You're the returning Big 12 champ. Um, how did last year's experience help you in your wrestling mentally, physically, on the mat, off the mat? Like, what did that, what did that whole experience do for you? Um, experience is a big thing. You know, I think once I've been able to wrestle at a tournament, um, definitely helps me grasp, like, what to expect, um, all those things. Uh, when I was a true freshman, I got to go and watch the tournament. And that even helped my mentally being able to visualize and stuff when I was able to wrestle. I think that helped me be able to uh, execute when I need to. And then obviously being able to wrestle last year in it. I mean, it just gives me a lot of experience, a lot of confidence going into it just to go out there and have fun. Uh, what are you kind of focusing on this week, you know, with the championships being ahead on Saturday and Sunday? What are some, like, on-the-mat things that you're really emphasizing? Um, I'm emphasizing – I'm working on some new skills. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been uh, inspired this past uh, week just to keep improving on my, my skills. Uh, looking, uh, looking at my top game, still trying to improve it, um, be able to make myself – a guy who can score bonus on anybody I'm wrestling. And so to be able to do that is one, I got to get a lot of takedowns, but also being dangerous on top. Don't a guy to do a back, maybe try to get the pin, get the tech. Uh, you know, when you get bonus points um, in a tournament situation, it's like you have another guy. You know, you say everyone's wrestling really well, and then when two or three guys are always getting bonus, it's like you have 11 guys wrestling at that tournament. It's an extra guy you're making up those points for. So, you know, and that could, you know, say someone gets out early you got to start doing the bonus so you can catch up for that guy who, you know, maybe got out. So I think getting bonus is just as important as it is in duels as it is in tournaments, really, and expecting the, uh, the best out of yourself. David, what inspires you to just kind of stay so focused on wanting to continue to, you know, change it up? You always talk about how you want to bring new things to the map. What keeps you going every week to do that? Um, I just want to be exciting. You know, I just want to – be someone who like you're watching you're like man I like watching David wrestle because he's always trying to score points he's doing new moves every match you know a lot of my wrestling this year I haven't done like the same takedown twice you know I'm always trying to use different moves and uh and elevate my game and that's fun to me you know trying to do new things is really fun for me like I was just working on some new stuff today and I'm excited to go and try those things out um on the mat this weekend and uh you know I like watching other guys like RBY. He's, he's exciting. He's trying to jump over guys. He's, he's running around them. Like that's exciting for me. So I want to try to do the same for our fans and uh, just anyone who's watching me. I want to be excited. Who's your go-to guy to do those moves on? Like the, the try the move. Like, stuff? yep. Like in the practice room. Um, I don't know. Just anytime I'm wrestling. If I'm, in the room, I'm always trying new stuff. So I'd say anyone I'm wrestling, I kind of just try whatever. And if I don't get it, it's whatever. It's practice. Thanks, David. No problem. It's hilarious to me that you would think of the Big 12 tournament as a way to go and practice new moves that maybe you haven't hit live before. Um, but also, like, the, the idea of, like, I mean, that just kind of goes along with the fact that your confidence seems like it's on such a different level compared to maybe it was last year or even the year before that when you won a junior world title, right? Mm -hmm. um, does that confidence come from just the fact that you have gone through, you know, a, a year? I know you didn't, guys didn't get to the NCAA championships last year, but basically 95 or 90 percent of an entire NCAA season last year? Or, or where, where does that confidence, this confidence, this, this step up in your game come from? Like, where do you, what lit that fire? Um, I think this year, you know, I'm just super grounded in my faith, you know, just believing in Jesus, the, you know, knowing that I have him, I'm not really worried about like too much stuff. Like I don't really make things too serious. You know, I try to just like have fun. And this year, 
this year I'm like, dude, why not go and just try stuff? And like, you know, I don't mind making mistakes or anything like that. Cause I know that, you know, I'm going to be able to correct it or work on it. So, you know, this tournament, I'm not going to really put it on like a high pedestal or anything. It's just another tournament for me. I'm going to go out there and try to wrestle score points. I'm in good shape. You know, I'll, that's just like my goal. That's my mindset this year. So having my faith gives me a lot of confidence going, being able to wrestle last year, you know, kind of realizing like, Hey, this is what some of the guys do. Um, now it's time to take another step. So yeah, just going into this tournament, um, I believe in God. So, you know, win or lose, it's not a big deal. And that gives me the confidence to just go try stuff and try to dominate. How much do you try to share that that type of mindset or this this type of confidence with the rest of your teammates? Because I know that going into this weekend, you know, if a handful of them wrestle to your seed, they'll, they'll advance to, to St. Louis. But, you know, if a few of them do a little bit extra work and wrestle just above their seeds, right? I mean, you guys could end up taking all 10, right? And that would yeah. obviously be be huge. So how much of, you know, this is also kind of, this weekend could be a leadership opportunity for you, right? Yeah, I, I definitely have been thinking about trying to um, get these guys motivated, um, making sure they're prepared. I think you just got to look at it as like, just as an opportunity. I've, I'm always looking at things as like, man, the opportunity to wrestle this year has been amazing. Um, I'm just blessed to be in the situation I'm in. And when I think of everything like an opportunity, and I'm going out there just to have fun. Like, I'm like, man, this is fun. If I can go out there and score points and put points on the board, that's fun. So I'm trying to let these guys know that like, don't get too stressed out. You know, don't, don't worry about the bracket. Don't worry about the seats. Go into every match. Like, man, this is a great opportunity for me to wrestle. Um, wrestle it like it's your last match and just go have fun. Just go out there, score points, wrestle hard. That's fun. Hey, guys, we have time for one more question for David. And you kind of like see any of that stress or like pressure, like from the, like from the freshmen, can you tell like if they're nervous or not? Uh, yeah, I can see them being a little nervous when it comes to meet day, but. I, I try to let them know that, like, when you're nervous, those same feelings are the same feelings of being excited. So, like, if your hands, your palms are sweaty, um, dry mouth, all those things, those are the same things of being excited as nervous. So, how you label them is up to you. So, I mean, I, when I get nervous, I'm like, man, I'm just excited to be here. You know, my family's here. I got some awesome coaches, me and Metcalf. I have a little handshake. Like, everything, I'm just telling myself how excited I am. And I use that energy when I go out there and wrestle.